His own personality going on this morning, okay? Y'all, it is nice and cloudy outside here in sunny Las Vegas. Yesterday it was beautiful, and today it looks like it's gonna rain. Cats and dogs, it's raining, man. How y'all doing out there? How y'all living? I hope everybody had a blessed, blessed, blessed beginning of their new year. And, uh, there's nothing that's not too big. Oh my God. Okay. Woo, I need stockings this morning. We are almost getting to the end of uh, football. I don't think there's no Monday night football tonight. So no jersey. I have to hurry up and get this monkey suit on. But uh everybody enjoyed their festivities and did whatever they had to do Just gotta run in this store and get some stockings this morning yay it's jump start january all right we need to name this if it if it ain't one thing it's another but anyway I just want y'all to know. Y'all know I done lost my train of thought. And I have not had a chance to look to see what's going on. Only thing I seen trending last night before I went to bed was old crazy ass Orlando Brown. Y'all, this motherfucker right here. I said, y'all, he probably a genius. He know what he doing. He know how to go in and get everybody attention. He has released his own sex tape. <laughs> Orlando, Orlando, Orlando. You have to be the biggest loser of 2017. And uh, I must say you do it with stride, pride, and everything else, okay? He don't give a ham sandwich. And that's what we got to love about him. I can't get my kid. Get some stockings but uh orlando don't care he just do not care okay and um i'm trying to keep my jump start january going on you guys so y'all may get me babbling a little about some stuff but i'm gonna try to do it i just did that don't stop december i don't know why <laughs> i wanted to do this but we gonna roll with it. We gonna roll with it. Rock with it. Roll with it. I need to go in here. Give me some stockings. And get my jacket. I say first he was fighting with his baby mama. And he told the bitch I made you. Now he's uh releasing the sex tape and I want to know on the sex tape is that her and I don't think nobody out this one but me and the birds <laughs> look at the overcast it went from sunny Las Vegas to and it's like it's gone freaking poor and of course, my son that gave me a list. Like he my husband, I ain't got time. Not this morning. I gotta get these stockings and keep it moving. But uh, I'm running in my neighborhood bonds. And I know that this place is very expensive. How you doing this morning? It's very expensive in here. Everything is like three times the price. <sighs> but when you last minute, not that I'm last minute, it's just sometimes. I don't have time. 
I'm thinking of when uh, the girl said, you ain't gonna see quiet without her makeup or her wig. That girl miss a potato head. <laughs> Ooh, stockings, guys. Sheer panty. This is open. I better not mess with this one. Because uh, if they open, somebody done been bothered. Sheer panty. Bang. Mini Q. Black. Yes. Suntan. But anyway, guys, let me grab what I need up out of here. And I shall return. Okay. I'm in here like I ain't got nothing to do this morning. You know I gotta get my ass to work. And uh get it popping, you guys. But I think I'm the only one on the streets this morning, hanging out. I don't think I'd have bought too much of nothing. Had to give me some allergy pills. Y'all can believe I done put this coat on, okay? But uh, I went back on to try to see if there's any dirt. I'll go straight since you wanna turn wide this morning. Y'all just could die. I guess her ex-boyfriend, her and her ex been going back and forth, back and forth. Thank you. They just cannot get it together for some reason. So I guess her um, ex, he's a ra little rapper in uh, ATL. And I guess he is pissed off that she is not fooling with him no more. So <laughs> now he's threatening to uh, release a sex tape. I say, you know what? To my young tinkies out there, y'all listen to me. Y'all come here. Come here. And some of my older ones too. Y'all quit doing these, um, let me videotape us having sex. I think one, maybe, I don't know. Let me shut up. <laughs> my first husband. Other than that, uh uh. I done did plenty of pictures and panties and bras and all that, but that was a little bit earlier in life. But these men are exposing and exposing, exposing these girls. My young tiki's out there, y'all don't do it. I'm not saying that your, your relationship is not gonna last, but nothing lasts forever. Then you end up with stuff like this going on people blackmailing you or putting it on the internet and uh, I laughed because one of my exes he told me I still got that picture <laughs> you sent me and I was like wow that was some years ago I was like wow really y'all really have look y'all hold on to shit like that no especially if you're in a relationship or you moved on, which you still got pictures of me for. Disclaim, I said one of my exes, okay? <laughs> you don't never know who be watching, okay? But, uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Babbling, because I ain't got nothing to talk about. And I'm trying to do this jump start. I didn't have a chance to go and give me no dirt. I seen a little boy that's doing Instagram, Kendall, Kendall. I see for New Year's Eve, he went and kicked it with Amber Rose. I said, ooh, that's nice. I guess DJ Duffy is really her cousin. And he hung out with them, I see. Another young lady, Jesse Hilarious on uh, IG. She was talking about Yandy and that old fuck shit, and she told the truth. If you marry someone, I'm with the young lady, Jesse. If you get married, and you don't file the proper documents, you're not married. You gotta go through and file that shit with the government. And Yandy getting on social media, flipping, flopping her ring, I am the wife, and I'm like, you the wife. You the wife, but basically, y'all don't have no documentation. You have power of attorney. Nah. And she say she don't want to have to pay his restitution. Okay, I get it. I understand that part. 
but if you were gonna do something like that I would appreciate more if you just would have kept that to yourself and not be on there flung I'm the wife happy wife and all that shit I'm like what is that about girl if you don't go have a seat so anyway the young lady Jessie did a video and she a comedian you know just talking about Yandy she said you ain't nothing but another baby mama or another girl you know you was just another nigga on the hit list and uh, some young lady that's in New York came for her and they was going back and forth on IG but I noticed a lot of these vlogs blog blog sites they kind of hype this shit on so they can go back and forth at each other but you know what like she said that made a lot of sense she's a comedian she get paid to uh talk shit do shit whatever whatnot so the other girl i guess she's just trying to get put on she just she said she's just another hood bitch i don't know trying to become famous but i noticed you know um what's his name the other comedian kevin hart blackson and uh, the one that was on social media not too long ago, Omar Epps. They do always do skits to help, you know, to, I mean, to put themselves out there. I ain't mad at them, you know, I ain't mad. But uh, you got it. I'm gonna see if I can find anything else to talk about. If not, basically, this is it for my jumpstart January, because I'm just babbling right now just trying to get a video to you guys and um, you guys hit me down in the comments what did you guys do for the new years did you guys have to work did you end up having a three four day weekend I don't know if some places was closed Friday I don't know if they took Monday I think a lot of people took Monday because I noticed the freeway is empty ain't nobody out here but me me myself and I Hit me down in the comments, you guys. And uh, I thank you guys for watching me. Let me know some of y'all, what y'all got for Christmas. Share it with me. Hit me down in the comments, my tikis. I'll hit you guys back when I get a chance. Y'all know when I got a chance, I'll talk to you. If I'm tired, you might not hear from me. But when I do get a chance, I try to come back in and say hello to my peoples. To my peeps, because I appreciate you guys messing with me fucking with me you know y'all we cool we here but uh it was so funny somebody at work said oh yeah i heard you got a channel all you be doing is talking shit on now no that's not all i be doing you come watch my channel i blog i talk about everyday life i talk about things that's going on i talk about i try to encourage i try to inspire but that just showed me you'd be surprised who all watching you it's not all about, you know, bad things. There's good things, too. And uh, I was watching Joel Esteem this morning. And uh, a lot of things were bothering me, worrying me. And he said, when it's out of your control, y'all, it's windy out today. I know y'all can hear this wind. When things are out of your control, you know, let it go. Quit worrying yourself. Quit worrying about it. Why stress yourself over things you cannot change? And uh, that goes back to learning to accept the things we cannot change. And if things didn't go the way we wanted them to go in life, move on, keep going. Let it go. Don't get in that little pity, pity party that you have going on in your life. And uh, don't, don't do it. No, hold, don't. No, no, don't do it. But uh, you guys, y'all have a lucky day. And uh, jumpstart January.